hello guys welcome back to good Shaw tips in this video i'm gonna talk about how to fix crusader king 3 crashes and requires installation on game pass right so uh this been happening for all the viewers i mean all the users right now in all fields so i'm just gonna help you out so they are getting an error this program cannot be open or reinstalled to repair the game message for almost all the users right now in xbox as well as in the even in the pc so we are here to help you out we are just going to show you some of the possible workarounds which is going to work so first of all make sure that the microsoft store is updated to its latest version so if you don't know how to download the microsoft version i mean if you don't have then you can definitely get it from uh, you know you can download it and you know you just have to make sure that you know uh, these are up to date the app is up to date right so if it is up to date you know if it is into the latest versions most probably the issue won't be there but apart from that next is all about make sure that you are running on the latest version of windows as well as we're having the latest update is graphic drivers so just like an initial process you can update the graphic drivers normally from here this is just an initial step which you go for the manage from here you have to click on the manage then you have to you know you have to select you know you have to go for drivers device manager then from here you have to go for the graphic drivers and you have to update a search for the updates and you can update it and apart from that even i wanted to make you notice there is also one more method where you have to click on this and you have to select the respective things over here and you'll be getting here right as you can see that you know mine is the latest version so there is no issue and I have, I have an update is available as you can see that 2.8.2 so i have to go for the uh, you know the latest versions which is going to fix the issue right and once you're done with that next is all about make sure that you're running on the windows latest update so you have to go for windows update right settings then you have to go for windows update here and as you can see that you're up to date you can see the message so i'm up to date so that is finished so you know that is no part if there is update is available i request you guys to go for the update and once you're done with that then it's all about now to check the internet connections is good enough right so here as you can see that i'm connected to the wi-fi so it is good enough and i have checked the connections a couple of times so you just have to make sure all the time when you're having these kind of issues just make sure yourself that you're connected and the internet is good enough right so if it's still you're connected and if you're having any issues just make sure that the data pack you used is not complete finished or just restart the wi-fi this can fix the issue right i'm moving on since sometimes you know keep in mind that sometimes an antivirus program can cause the issue with the launching of the games so whether you're using any third-party antivirus program on the windows defender application either disable the real-time production filter or whitelist the installed in a game pass as well as a crusader, crusader king 3 game folder and go for an ex add an exclusion right i have already done a video on how to add an exclusion we can offer that which is going to give you the details right so uh that is what it's all about and then if you haven't finished up then same method you know uh you have to do public applicable for windows firewall production as well as what i mentioned above is for the pcs as well as this is for what it is so uh, what i just want to make you do is if you are using windows firewall production as well you just have to turn off the program temporarily while playing the game or just add an exception to the firewall by adding the executable file right so uh, this is a very important which i just wanted to make you guys notice because most probably you know uh, they just forget in between so windows defender firewall as you can see that right you have to uh, you know whitelist that it is very important at the same time and also apart from you know if uh, even we have done a video on how to add an exclusion right if you don't know that you know you just have to refer that video which is going to give you the solution right so because it's just very impu very important that you have to know that then you have to click on this if you don't know how to add you know how to add an exclusion then you have to go for the manage settings then here there is an option for the exclusions right you have to click here add or remove then you have to go for add an exclusion right so uh, that is very important then apart from that uh, the other really important thing is it's all about you know you have to check out whether you know the background running on applications are taking too much cpu so that you have to clear that then disable or and apart from that right so to do this you have to go to the task manager to clear any kind of things running in the background you have to go to the task manager as i'm shown here and as you can see that these are the things and you have to clear it if it's you can go for you know 
you can clear the end task option after selecting it so this can fix the issue up and apart from that you know disable all apart from the last one which is very important is disable all the other overlay applications on your pc like steam overlay discord overlay nvidia geforce experience overlay or xbox game or overlay etc so these are the steps which you have to follow to fix the crusader king 3 crashes and required installation on game pass don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for the notification this is shahin signing off and get your tips see you soon peace out